It's almost hard to believe it's been a full year since we found this truck. We've come a long way. We started out with a truck that didn't run. In fact, it didn't even have enough braking power to stop it after we rolled it off the trailer. I thought it might run into my house. We pushed it back into the shop and started taking it apart pretty quickly. We put Caleb to work disassembling everything we could find. We pulled the front clip off the truck first and then went after the engine. Once the engine was out, we could get it all cleaned up. And when it was cleaned, we took it to the machine shop. The machine shop went through the entire engine. They cleaned out the block. They bored it 40 thousandths over. Well, we picked up new pistons, new cam, new rings, new lifters, and rebuilt the engine from top to bottom. Had Caleb do a lot of that, so that was kind of cool. We then matched it to a vintage specific quadrajet carburetor and then went after the frame all the way down to the nothings. We cleaned every nook and cranny, we sandblasted, we sanded, and then we repainted and rebuilt and put it back together one bolt at a time. We gradually got the thing back up on its own wheels and decided that we needed to do something to make the truck mobile. So we focused on the cab. We rebuilt the entire cab. The firewall was rebuilt, the rocker panels were rebuilt, uh, primed up the cab and painted it ourselves in our paint booth, and then worked on getting it mounted. Recognizing that with the cab mounted, we'd be able to move the truck around by its own power. The thinking was that if we could get the cab installed, and then put a few of the controls in place, the throttle, the brake, and the steering wheel, then we would have something that we could easily move around. From there, we needed some brakes so that we could stop it, right? You got the go, now you need the woe. And we had something to work with. We put two wires on it, one to the coil and one to the starter, and that was enough to make the thing go. Look, this truck has been sitting for a long time. I think it was last registered in 2001. So it's been over 20 years since this thing was road legal, and frankly, I don't think it has run under its own power since then either. This is a pretty monumental occasion. We're excited. I feel like it's running rich because every time I you take the choke it. off, then it starts right up. So, okay. Having this kind of an accomplishment really brightened him up, put a smile on his face and got him revved up and going again. He's all of a sudden excited to work on the truck again. So this was a meaningful event. What you're hearing is a Chevy 350 board 40 thousandths over with stock heads and an RV cam with no exhaust. It does have headers, but it's open, so no mufflers. And so you get a bit of a rumble and uh, that low, um, lopey idle that I actually really kind of like. We won't keep it that way because the car needs to be usable on Sundays and <laughs> preferably without upsetting the neighbors every time we use it. So we'll actually put some exhaust on it. But for today's maiden voyage, we were just excited to have it go. Caleb was particularly excited to have it go. Transmission needs some adjustments. The, uh, the kick-down cable isn't even installed yet. Some of the vacuum lines aren't hooked up. So there's a lot to be done here. But we wanted to celebrate the milestone and kind of do it in fashion. I am a little bit curious to know what might be going through the minds of the other cars and drivers on the road when they look over and see what looks almost more like, I don't know, a rat rod? I'm not sure what, what people think of it. It looks even shorter in its current state, not having the panels on it, especially the bed. So it almost looks like um, some kind of a home-built contraption. So it would be kind of curious just to know uh, what people were thinking as we as we drove by. But you can see Caleb's lit up over it. He likes it. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully it keeps him going and keeps him energized because there's still a lot of work to do. We are excited to put some time into the internal workings of the cab. We'll get the instrument cluster installed, we'll get the radio in it. Uh, we do have a vintage air system and I have a painless wiring harness for it. 
all of those things will need to get installed over the course of the next what, couple of months. The goal is to have it running and road legal by the time Caleb turns 16. I don't know if that means we'll actually have a bed on it, so it may have some makeshift lights, and I don't know if that means we'll have wheels cleaned up and ready. They're looking pretty nasty, but road legal is the target. In fact, I think the next thing that we'll do is uh, work on the exhaust. We're planning some Flowmaster and two and a half inch stainless steel pipes all the way out. So join me next week as we put the new exhaust on and you'll get a chance to hear how those Flowmaster mufflers sound on a Chevy 350.